Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hey guys, Amber here with the Meeple family, and today I have a really quick how to play and review video for you on one of my all time favorite two player games called Aqualine, and this is put out by Cosmos Games. I find this game to be so much fun. It is a tile movement game, and you're trying to outscore your opponents by grouping certain animals or colors together, depending on what your objective is. So let me show you how this plays, and then I'll talk to you more about the things I really like about it at the end. Well, let's jump right in and get started with how to play Aqualine. So Aqualine comes with 36 of these acrylic tiles, and they are really, really great quality. I would say they're similar to the Azul quality. So if you've played Azul, this is about the same quality of acrylic tile. Now, on these acrylic tiles, you are gonna find different sea creatures. There are six different sea creatures, and each sea creature comes in the six colors of the game. As I stated, this is a two-player game, so one of you is going to be working hard to try and get schools, which means two or more tiles lined up of the same colors, while the other is going to try to get the same animal type together. And again, creating these schools is just gonna mean two or more of your objectives. So for here, the player that is doing colors would have a school of two, and the player that's doing animals would have a school of two fish. Okay, so now that we kind of know the objective of the game, we've got one player going after colors, we've got the other players going after animals, let's go over how you actually play the game. You're gonna start by turning six tiles face up. This is the drafting pool. Then you need to decide who's gonna go first. The rules say something like whoever was at the beach last can go first, but you know, we just do rock, paper, scissors. So basically when it's your turn, you're gonna do three things. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about isn't really going to pertain because there's no tiles on the board, and that is that you can move a sea creature. So for example purposes, let's just say the board looks like this, and let's say that I am going for colors, and my opponent is going for like animals, and I can see here that they have three sea turtles um, that would count as a school of three. So on my turn, before I draft from the draft pool, I can move a sea creature. So the rule for moving a sea creature is you can move it as many spaces as you want, as long as it stays in the same row or column. So obviously with this sea creature, I can't move this one in the column, but I could move it out. So if it was my turn, on step one, I'm gonna move an existing sea creature. On step two, I'm gonna draft a sea creature from the draft pool. Okay, I'll say this fish because that's going to give me three pink and also keep my opponent from pushing that turtle back in to score those points. Then the last thing I do on my turn is really just fill the draft pool. Then it's the next player's turn. Gameplay is going to continue just like this using those three steps until all 36 tiles are on the reef. So when all 36 tiles are actually on the reef, it'll look something like this. Of course, this will initiate the end of game scoring, which in the game they call the school assessment. I think the best way to score these school assessments at the end of your turn is just to go animal by animal and color by color because it's super easy to miss them if you're not like methodical about it. So just to give you an idea of how these score, um, if you have a school that has at least two animals, you'll get one point all the way up to we can see if we have a grouping of six, which is really difficult to do, you would get 15. All right, well thank you guys so much for letting me give you that quick how to play of Aqualin. This is a game that Josh and I really enjoy to play and to me this is such a great summertime game, which is why I wanted to showcase it in July. This game, I love my portable games. I love games that I can take outside, that I can take on the go, uh, that don't require a lot of high maintenance in the summer, and this is definitely one of them. I don't have to worry about cards blowing away um, or anything like that. It's such a great porch game. I personally love the theme. The gameplay in this is so strategic and rich for how simple and easy this game is to learn and to teach, which is a whole nother thing I absolutely love about this game. It's simple enough that my kids can play with me, but it's complex enough that Josh and I can sit down and have a really intense cutthroat game. Uh, the last time we played, you know, that first step where you can move a sea creature is so strategic because it allows you to a lot of times lock in 
your points or your scoring depending on how you're moving that sea creature. And it can also, in the same way, block your opponent from scoring points. So it is it is a lot of take that if you choose to play that way, and we typically do. So it gets pretty intense for such a uh, compact, easy to learn game. Like I cannot believe how much strategic game is in this. Well, as always, I hope this quick review and how to play lets you see if Aqualine will be a good fit for your gaming table and your family. We are all about being intentional and having games like this that are quick and easy um, and really can you can still have a conversation while you play is really important to me. Uh, that's really something that we strive to do here in our family is set aside time to just like turn off the TV, turn off the devices, and just sit down and talk and you know make these memories together playing these games. Uh, it's crazy when I get these games out how many times I remember playing them and just the special memories that they hold with my kids and with my husband. So definitely that's what we're all about here at a Meeple Family. I would love to know what some of your favorite two-player games are. We're going to be coming out with a uh, top 10 video pretty soon for that. So if you haven't already, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes